Welcome to Attrition Outdoors. Today we follow Vance Never Been Wilder on his quest to kill a turkey in the state of Wisconsin. He's got three tags. Let's see if we can get it done. I found this lone time out in this big public field. This field's huge. We just found this lone time out here. So we don't know if turbo will work, but we're gonna try calling Adam first. And see if we can get him to come in with some calling. Seven turkeys, but what they are, IDK. Did you just say IDK? IDK, my BFF doofy. <laughs> You're picky this year. You really got spoiled last year when you only had to get a truck twice. No, I had a day that I didn't shoot anything. You're cut off. Possibly two days. Okay, you had one day where we got out of the truck once for about three minutes. You refused to take a shot, which ultimately screwed me for not shooting my last bird. That was the best decision I ever made. There is a lot of deer tracks and a lot of human tracks. Somebody found my honey hole. Not your honey hole. I peed there, so it's my honey hole. All right, well, I guess that seems pretty legit. Driver, take me to turkeys. Just stopped. This is a field Billy had permission for. But striped out. And the turkeys are far back in the corner working that way in the field. Now do we figure out, do we take this edge or do we go down through the public? We have permission to be in a private. Do we go in a private or- Maybe they'll see us public? because we were sitting right there in that driveway. You can see them clear as day. Sleep. It's like deuces, I'm out. Are you worried your truck's gonna blow up again? <laughs> wow! <laughs> I remember my first beer. I had a work late. And it just called me up. And there's a time, I don't know how many times I would have said there was one strutting for sure. Out in this field. This public field, so I'm gonna try to sneak up on them. So hopefully we get this done the last day for this week it'd be really nice to tag out once we get up to that tree we're gonna have to get down stay slow they're gonna get out of here no they're alert though i don't see any toms just jakes really that's man i swear there's one with full strut and that's one of those jakes is a strutter He was just testing it out, see how it felt. There could be one, but he could be already down on the bottom side with the hens. And the jakes are gonna want nothing to do with it. I didn't want to. Mm -hmm. Got the secret weapon today, and I'm gonna carry it in my back pocket. It's coming with. What is that? It's my horseshoe I won last year for being lucky. Well, they're a pretty big time over there. And they're kind of working their way back slowly. So, so let me guess, there's going to be a guide feed now? Well, there should if, have been last year. 
What are you talking about? I showed you all my spots. I put you on two birds last year and you shot both of them. And you cried that I didn't shoot one of them. Yeah, I put you on three. That's really nice. You want to go after this one or you go over that way? He's pretty big. He ain't strutting, but he's like you just go sitting. Go check him out. So, this farmer up here, we've hunted his land years past. Never had success, but we've hunted it. We found this Tom out here. He only has one hen with him. We stopped and the owner wasn't there, but the owner's son was and he told me to go kill him. So, What are we doing now? We're going to go reap one. If we get all the way to that corner, I don't even know if it's worth putting him up. He's not strutting. He has a hen. He's already working to the corner. If we can just sneak in and we have permission to be out there, just wait till he gets in gun range and take him. He's across the street. Yeah. yeah. They do it, they never say load the gun like this. And just blow a hole right in your new truck. You own a body shop, you'll just buy me a new roof. A new roof. Yeah, I'll be that body shop. Cave and pave. I don't even know what that means. Real hacks if it's a dent. Instead of pulling dent out and fix it, they just fill it with bondo paint and call it good. Mom's Dude, she will see this and kick your ass. I'm gonna sit in a ditch and wait for him to come across the road. <laughs> that doesn't sound very good we start over. We're gonna go down in this valley where we watched him roost on trees yesterday. His snake was laughing at me all night. We're gonna go a little bit further in this time. Hopefully shoot a Tom, possibly a Jake, maybe a bearded hen. Exciting happens anyways with you. Too busy throwing freaking sticks. It's like fishing. Yeah. This is fishing with him. I throw rocks. You will be fishing and he'll be throwing rocks at your bobber, whatever you're yeah. casting. The turkey with a freak out there. You see it? No, you can hear it. It's a woodpecker. You're a woodpecker. I'm so woodpecker. God, I hate you right now. Turkey butts drive Vince nuts. Did you polish that horseshoe? I did. Let's go shoot one. Hey, where Billy just shot his last week with the bow. I got the shotgun. Uh, two birds. Well, there was three times at the last place and one time at the first place. Didn't get nothing. It's the last time in the evening. Bring in the horseshoe. <laughs> Another night down, Vince. This horseshoe for me isn't working. Yeah, you might want to leave the horseshoe. Quarter to eleven on Sunday. I didn't hear my alarm go off this morning. Pretty sure I forgot to set. Forgot to set it. So, I ended up eating breakfast with the family. Hanging with my little guy for a little bit. I came out here to go turkey hunting. There's two jakes out in the field when I got here, but they ran off when I started walking out here. As soon as I got out here and started setting up, there's a spin this Tom back in this corner, just gobbling like crazy. So I'm trying to hurry up and set up, and then I'm gonna try to hit the box call. I had that turkey going crazy in the background. Got all set up. Hit the box call. He got really fired up. Closed the distance. I could hear him gobbling right outside the blind. And he 
feels like between five to ten yards to where the around the corner of the blind where you can't see through. Then he started going the other way and I looked out the back window. And he was like ten yards just standing there. But there's Velcro on there and I couldn't get the Velcro down or shoot. I didn't bring a decoy today because they've been so decoy shy. I figured they've been hanging out right down in this little water hole on their own. So I was just gonna let them naturally come. But if I had a decoy out there, you probably would have seen it and came right in. My wife came through, brought me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, a little cooler with some drinks and chips. And now we just need Dirkie to show up. I just want to shoot something. I forgot what it's like to hold a turkey. Be a good afternoon. Well, that happened fast. So it's Sunday of the last week of Wisconsin 2016 season. I got out here late, got out here at quarter to 11, and called in a Tom right off the bat, but he came five yards behind the blind. An hour or so later, I got hungry and I texted my wife and she brought me lunch. I ate my lunch and 10 minutes went by and I seen a Tom come from where my truck is parked across the open field there. So I got on my box call and uh, as soon as I called, this one right here gobbled right next to the blind. He was 20 yards tops coming right for me. Grabbed the camera, turned it on, got it on the bird and grabbed my gun and shot him real quick. Finally gets it done. I gotta say my favorite part about turkey hunting is the struggle. The ups and downs, the highs and lows, and hanging out with someone like that, getting to share their season, and the jokes, the stick throwing, and just the banter back and forth, just, it makes it for me. Thank you for watching.